Hello everybody, my name is Etching Raptor and I welcome you to your new frontline guide video. Today we are going to have a look at the base C, which is arguably probably the hardest cap to capture for the attackers. Um, well, the easiest cap to defend if you are a defender. Today, in today's video, we are being co-moderated by my pet dragon called Chili, but because it's kind of late, this little um, beast, let's call it like that way, he will just, well, sit around on my shoulder and absolutely do nothing but, yeah, say hello to him. He is a nice little dude, he is lovely, he is an awesome pet. So yeah, let's have him sit here and be safe. But yeah, right now you can see there is a small little EBR driving towards the red line and maybe or maybe not doing some stuff. So I'd say, you already guessed it, we are in the defending side of the team. Let's have a look at how I play this map as a defender because yeah, <coughs> it is actually not that easy in my personal opinion to play this map as a defender when you're playing a light tank and as you might have guessed already i am pretty much a light tank only driver especially ebr 75 fl10 so you might already saw yes this position <coughs> up here is definitely not too bad depending what the enemy is doing and um, they are doing a decent job at that you can go all the way over here and if you are not getting contested over here you can be even a cheeky scrub lord and try to spot the enemy artillery which may or may not spawn behind here and you could easily even kill them if you get lucky or not but then again this is totally depending what the enemy team is doing and you could see the enemy team already did some major stuff going for us but nevertheless this position over here can be pretty good and should also be something you should keep in mind this also goes the same for medium tanks and maybe in the back over here in this area for a tank destroyer and um, when it comes to tank destroyers yes those positions over here are decent but please keep in mind you can get spotted from the people up here and you can get shot at by the people which are camping behind there. But nevertheless, those positions over here are always more or <coughs> less decent. Especially over here, you have a decent hard cover, you have bush cover, you have trees you can, well, basically just drive over. And now, because we already received a decent chunk of damage by the enemy team, we are deciding to maybe do one or two more shots. You could see right there, Scorpion G got spotted. And we're trying to do more or less one or two more shots, but we are a little bit stupid, so we drive into that, um, what's it called, into that, st not stone, but in this boulder region. And now we have to run away because our HPs are quite fast windling. But yes, again, this position over here is decent for the start. You can even stay up here depending what the enemies are doing. In our particular game, the enemies decided to be uh, really aggressive and pushing us out. Other than that, I saw games where this position is very, very hardly fought against. So yeah, other positions I can totally recommend when we <coughs> is or is hard though to achieve is going up here. We are actually getting lucky in this game to more or less go up here into this position if we are now doing a little bit of Speedy Gonzalez over here. Because it is actually pretty weird. We got really lucky that the enemies decided to leave it all to ourselves and you can see we are going for this stops position and by the way now guys i want i want to point something out i know you all most of you dislike the ebr 75 fl10 and i totally understand why it is strong in good players hands it is fast and it is nimble and has a decent gun right chili but look guys this guy over here is playing basically pretty bad I have 8.75 seconds reload time for my clip to reload. This guy, yes, it is risky, but at the moment he's getting farmed by me because what I can do is basically, you can see, reload, bam, bam, 
take one shot and immediately go back. What he can do right now in this certain situation are two things. He could try to drop down and go back to his base or push me depending if an enemy is camping behind here or rather an ally of us is camping. But please guys do not just stand there because a decent player is doing what I'm doing. Waiting for a lead out, bam bam! Doing two shots, waiting for a reload again and finish him off and even getting a sergeant. So sometimes it's not only the tank's fault. I know EBRs are strong, but please consider to maybe push them if they're doing stuff like this. So when it comes to a TD position, another one, <coughs> you can go over here. And well, you might have already seen our Scorpion G standing behind there for a bit. And uh oh, it's not a bad idea, especially because you can see you can push over those trees and depending what the enemies are doing, if they're doing a push over here, which I sometimes also recommend doing, and you can see he doesn't like what I'm talking because he wants to run away. Um, it can totally work and help to keep the push back and help your allies which are camping over here or defending over here. And when we are already talking about this, but right here, yes guys, this is the spot you want to be at when you are a defending heavy. Especially if you got some people over here ready to help you out, giving you co cover and not letting the enemies push forward. What are you doing, my dear friend? This position over here is heavy territory and tanks like the Carnarvon Action X, tanks like the Defender, and even TS5 can do amazing stuff over here because they can more or less partially, I don't know what he's doing, partially stand in a hold down position. What are you doing, my little friend? And you can do amazing job and do really, 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 really good decaps. But please keep in mind, as soon as the enemy pushes through here, and have positions over here, they can flank you and they can flank you hard. Depending where you're standing, because with a hold down tank, you will most of the time want to stand like this. So you have m most positions covered. But as you might look over here, you can see <coughs> that this position over there and from here you can get shots in. So please keep that in mind. It may or may, may, or may not break your game. So. As you might have seen already, we decide we just killed an enemy prosciutto over here. We are going for a quick repair, but now we are deciding to go up onto this position. And <coughs> for defenders, it's a very risky position <coughs> and I don't really recommend it. But right now you can see we used our spotting plan because as you can see it is on cooldown and I just put it over here. So let's just mark this real quick so you don't forget. Over here using spotter plane is very good idea because you can get a lot of spot damage out of it and um, don't forget spot damage gives you a decent chunk of points for your uh, move towards general. But again again it is a pretty <coughs> risky position you can see we are now getting butt raped by the enemy prosciutto which basically does the same thing we did and we have to drive down here before we are going to die. It can you can get down there without getting any damage, but it is pretty risky. I do not really recommend going up here because as already said, it is a pretty, pretty risky position to be at. The last thing you can do as a scout or as a defender in general, depending if B has fallen, you can decide to go into a defense mode over here because most of the time on B, enemies are trying to come from the back. And sometimes enemies can even go like this and do a flanking maneuver. But I do have to say, first, B has to be one because B is pretty darn hard um, because they can do lots of lots of good <coughs> side shots from over there. You can even see on our map right here is a Prochetto. He in theory would spot a push through this narrow little need for speed track and he could even do some decent shots at. So I think I've already, s well not already, almost said 
everything I wanted to say. You can also stay here with a heavy and or a medium tank and this would be right about here. You have decent cover as you can see, but then again, as soon as the enemies are pushing forward, right now you can even see the Lunsen doing this, as soon as the enemy are pushing too far forward, you are gonna get not so fun game you, well, your game experience will drop down quickly. You have a decent hold-down position right here, but you can see as soon as they're pushing up there, they have your butt. Depending, even an artist strike right, can get you out, but you have decent cover over here. Just as a little side note, please guys, once again, I urge you to have a look at your minimap. I forget it a lot, but as soon as you see that the enemies are pushing over here very, very aggressively, maybe ditch this position. You want to survive as long as possible. You don't want to die immediately at the beginning of the game. But now I'm talking a lot for the attacking team, uh, for the defending team. Let's have a look at the attackers. The attackers have it pretty rough on this map and, well, for a reason, obviously. It's a corridor. Enemies can stand here, enemies can in theory stand over here, they can stand over here, they can stand over here. <coughs> you have almost no hard cover except for this spot over here, which is incredibly aggressive. You don't really have any position to use a hold down except for maybe this bunker door, but that's about it. This is what makes this map as an attacker so hard. So hence why me and this little boy over here, I would suggest to you or want to show you, he doesn't want to be on my shoulder I think anymore, I want to suggest to you one of the best positions in the game on C map. And lo and behold, my dear friends, it is not on C at all, it is over here. Why is this position down here so incredible important for you as an attacking team? I can tell you, if you win B, first of all, if you win B, oh, oh, excuse me, he just scared me for a little bit over there. If you win B, <coughs> you can do awesome things. You can go for a flanking to A and the flankings to C. B is the central map, it is key to win and it is even easy to win. And one of the things the enemies tend to do, or the defender team is, as I already discussed in my B base video, go aggressive over here and do defending shots over here. So now just imagine if you are a defender and you are staying over here, you stay over here, you more or less have enough view range to spot whatever is camping over there and you can do side shots, side shots, side shots. Yes, you don't get cap points for the moment, but you are doing your team a huge favor. I know a lot of people will now hate me for saying that this position is basically broken, but it is such an incredible and important position to go at to help your team win and open up the playing field. Please keep this position in mind and if you see that nobody's going there, please somebody has to go over there because then you can do a lot of side shots. If you remember my base B video, you could see that our any, or our defending team was basically just yawing down there and well the enemy team had an or we had a pretty easy time defending B while the enemies had a pretty hard time attacking it. Even I was down there so if you stay on this position this C position you can farm damage like a maniac. Please keep in mind though you will get spotted if you shoot because the distances are around 400 meters so yeah. Other than that I'd suggest to go over here as a TD and maybe over here but this position down there is a little bit meh. Why is it a little bit it a little bit meh because well you can only really do damage if the enemies are pushing into you and you want to defend your repair point. As you can see right here a 5100 would be perfect fodder for you to shoot at. But then again this is a very defensive position so I don't really recommend it. I would suggest if you want to be a sniper to D, as you could see the Scorpion Chi, somewhere around here because then you can snipe at the people up there, over there and depending what those people are doing, do shots over there. 
as a light tank, if I'm not going down here, as I already discussed, I'd like to also go over here what the enemies, um, enemy scouts did in the beginning. It is a decent position and you can more or less farm a decent chunk of damage and spotting damage depending how you're playing and depending what your teammates are doing. But this position over here is crucial. As I already talked about, if you are able to push through here, you can do awesome stuff and do some decent, well, what should I say, um, decent um, side shots into the defending team which are holding off the base or defending the base. As I already said, C is basically if you get this part free of enemies, you are more or less golden to cap. It is still hard, but you are more or less golden to cap. This is also why sometimes a scout or a medium tank is very well appreciated up here, because you can do some side shots all the way over here. And <coughs> this is pretty good, because then again you help your team win this flank over here. I want to... Ah, damn it. I want to get this position over here because then again you can do cross fries like that. In C, team play is incredibly important, as already discussed. Um, yeah, that's <coughs> about it when it comes to team play. When you are a heavy, you can think about pushing down here, but please keep in mind it is rather um, aggressive and you can get farmed from here and from here, but you can also help your team push into it. Like this is a sacrificing lamp because you want that those people which are defending here turn around so you can help them cap. Other than that, heavies, I'd suggest to maybe go over here or here. Be close to get out of the cap if you are betting put under pressure. Sadly enough, Frontline is a game mode of egois egos or egoistic pricks, if you want to say it like this. You want to be the one which gets all the points. You don't want your allies to get any points. You don't want the enemies to get any points in the hope that they are going to drag out the game longer so you have more chances to get your general. It's an egoistical approach, but I'm sorry, this is how Frontline is. But again, if you are standing more or less on the outskirts, you can drive out of the cap if it gets too hairy and maybe do some stuff. About this position right here, it is not too bad, but again, please keep in mind, people can shoot you from there. And as soon as the people are driving up here, <coughs> yes, you can also die. But something very, very sneaky is if you are teaming up with an with a friend of yours, which are pro probably playing something like a VKP or even a Mauerbrecher and you are in an ELC even 90, you can be one heck of a guy. You can stay here with a ELC even 90 and let your VKP defender or Mauerbrecher drive up here and basically box you in. What should the enemy do? They have to push around and they get into a huge crossfire. I can also recommend for the people attacking C, if you have it, use your... Um, what's it called smoke screen smoke screen also saves lives so that's about that obviously <coughs> if you helped over here and you won b you can do the need for speed track all the way and down there and maybe you get allies helping you to push into the back of the enemies killing them off maybe an EBR ebrs are doing a yolo run to get the enemy artillery so again i think the most important thing as an attacker if you want to attack c is to help b I know it sounds stupid, but this is the most important thing. And with that, I think I've covered most of it. If you want to do or use a spotter plane, I do suggest to use it over here. If you put down a smoke screen over here, so you can't really spot, I would suggest to put a sm spotter plane like this, so you know where the enemies are coming and you can spot them while they have trouble spotting you throughout the smoke screen. So. Th this is it. I think I've covered everything which needed to be known for this map. Um, I hope I was able to help you, especially as an attacker. If so, let me know in the comment section below. What can I do better? What can I do worse? I know this video was a little bit longer, but it is also because C is a rather hard map to attack and there was a lot to talk about. And if there is one thing you need to remember as an attacker, it's this spot over here. Again, if you win C, uh, if you win B, high chances are you can do a flanking maneuver like this. You get allies <coughs> from over here and win C. 
B is key for winning C. Yes, you can do a cap rush, but then again, don't forget the defenders spawn around here and they can immediately retaliate a cap rush. So a cap rush in C is not really recommended to do. It can work, but with the recent nerfs to pioneer, uh, engineer, it doesn't. Again, let me know in the comment section what I can do better. Chile over here is... I think now Tyra, we are going to get him back to his, in, to his vivarium, let him sleep, and yeah, he's thanking you also for your attention. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, goodbye, have a good evening, have fun in Frontline, and... What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh well, goodbye guys.